this picture. Now, if we look at this picture, what do we see? How is this related to education? Well, on this picture here, everybody who's trying to reach the apple is being provided with the same support. Isn't it not helping everybody? Because these two are not reaching the apple. Same thing in education. Will we provide every, every student with the same support? Not everybody masters the, academic, the content area. While well, on this other picture, we're not providing the same support, but we, pro we are providing the same the support that each person needs to be able to reach the apple. In education, every not every student receives the same support, but students receive the support that they need in order to master the content area and l reach the learning goals. That is one of the um, current issues in education. We want equality, but we also want equity. Well, equality means everybody receives the same support. Well, whereas equity means the students receive the support that they need in order to reach the uh, learning objectives. Okay, now, let's begin talking about what tracking is. Has anybody heard of tracking? Has an idea what tracking is? No? Okay, well, tracking refers to the way in which students are kind of sorted. They're, they're, they're being told, you belong on this class, you belong on this class, you belong on this, this class. That's how we place students in different classrooms, in different classes, and the tracks that's gonna take them, that are gonna take them. Now, uh, we do that nowadays by the, their academic ability. So we give them a test, how they score on tests is how we tell them, you belong in this class because of your test, your test score. Now, when this started back in the 90s, it was mainly used based on the student's socio socioeconomic status. That's how we place them. That means the rich with the rich, the poor with the poor. Okay, what was, why was that the case? Well, because we needed to meet the needs of that time. What were some of those needs? Well, 20% of high school graduates were expected to, be, to go to college, to be leaders in society. They were expected to become doctors, to become law, uh, lawyers, CEOs of a company, because that's what their families were. Their families were rich. So they were expected to follow the same steps. So when those students went to the school, they were told, you belong on this track. You belong on this one, you belong on this one. Whereas only 20% of students, high school, graduate students from high school, were expected to become skilled workers. That means uh, salesmen, managers, accountants, uh, things where their family, where their family did. And finally, the rest of society, the 60% remaining, were expected to become work, factory workers, farm workers. So the poor were put in a track. The middle class in a different track, and the rich in a different track. They were all following the same pattern. So that's how tracking began back in the 90s. It was until uh, the Board of Education, uh, Brown versus the Board of Education, that uh, the Supreme Court decided that uh, the students should not be uh, tracked or segregated based on their race, but only by their academic ability. By their academic ability, like, um, their scores on a test, um, the scores on the test had their reading level because this begins since the primary grades. If the students are reading at a higher level, then they're all placed together. If they're reading at a middle level, lower level, then they're 
all put together because they need to receive this same the this the support that they need in order to move them along on their learning.